Hey guys! This is how I groom my cockapoo at home. I am not a professional groomer at all. I'm just a do-it-yourself kind of girl. So I hope that I can pass along some of my tips and tricks. This is Chloe. She's really furry and she's in need of a haircut. Chloe only weighs 12 pounds so I have her propped up on top of this foldable table because it makes it easier for me to see while I'm cutting her hair. Chloe is being such a good model that she deserves a treat. Don't forget to have treats on hand for your dogs too. You want to start off with a clean and tangle free dog because you want the clippers to glide through as easily as possible. You don't want the clippers to get stuck in any knots because it can also catch their skin. You want to avoid that at all costs. I'm using a slicker brush to detangle Chloe because it works best for her hair type. Then I use a comb to glide through and make sure that it doesn't get stuck because if it does get stuck then your clippers will likely get stuck too. I'm speeding this video up for the sake of time, but I promise you that I'm being very gentle. Now moving forward with clipping Chloe's body. I'm using the clippers with a 3 guard because I like Chloe's hair on the longer side. And as you can see, I'm going in with the comb from time to time just to make sure that there are no tangles in the way. Chloe tends to move around a little bit while I'm clipping her hair, so you're gonna see that I go from her left side to her right side from time to time. I don't like to force Chloe to stay in a certain position for too long because I think it makes her feel like she has a little bit of control over what's happening, and it makes it a better experience. I wouldn't say that Chloe loves getting through, but she doesn't hate it.
right here I'm moving on to using the clippers without a guard so that I can remove as much hair as possible from the bottom of her paws. I'm making sure not to point the blades directly in between her toes so that I don't get any skin caught. And then I moved on to putting Chloe on my lap and giving her some belly rubs so I can see the bottom of her paws better. This is just what works for me and Chloe, but you can do whatever works for you and your dog. Since Chloe was already down here, I went ahead and started our sanitary cut. I'll usually start right where I can feel her ribs and then I'll work my way down into her thighs and make sure that everything is nice and clean. I'm not using a guard because I want to make sure that everything is very short so that it stays clean for as long as possible. It's important to give your dog a sanitary cut because this is the area that is most sensitive. So this helps avoid any future UTIs or infection or having any excess dirt in their, you know, sensitive areas. And since she's already down here, I'm going to go ahead and detangle her chest and clip her with a two guard. The reason why I use a two guard is because she's more likely to get matted under here than the rest of her body. This part looks really intimidating but I promise you that I'm going really slow and really carefully around here. I'm just making sure to remove any excess fur so that Chloe doesn't have any leftover pee whenever she goes to the bathroom and this will avoid having any UTIs in the future. And this part I'm just using the clippers without the guard just making sure to remove any fur. I'm not putting it directly on her skin because this is a sensitive area. I just want to make sure she doesn't get any dingleberries. For the tail, I just make sure to twist it all the way to the end and then I'll trim it and keep trimming until I like the length. Twisting it just helps so that you can get that cute curve at the end of the tail. Now we move on to the legs. This is what a professional groomer would call column legs and I'm just trying to recreate that look. I'm not a professional but this is what works for me. I'll use straight scissors and point straight down just to remove the excess fur and after I'm done with the straight scissors I'll get the curved scissors and I'll try to follow the natural pattern of her leg shape in the front and then I'll try to round out her butt because Chloe has a cute little round butt. how cute Chloe looks with her messy bun. I think she looks so funny. Anyways, I just did this so that I can get her ears out of the way and I can see her front legs better. And again, I'm just using the straight scissors and I'm going straight down. So 
now we're getting around to doing Chloe's face. Right here I'm starting off with some thinning shears. Thinning shears are basically scissors with teeth, so this just helps to make sure that there's no sharp straight edge. It'll just give it a nice soft look. I'm making sure to go in right in the inner corner of Chloe's eyes so that she doesn't get any hair poking inside her eyes and I'm going over her eyes as slowly as possible. As you can see, I'm holding Chloe's muzzle tightly, not too tight, but just tight enough so that she doesn't move suddenly and hurt herself. For the ears, you're going to want to follow the natural curve that they have and you're going to take off the length with the curved scissors and then you're going to follow with the shears so that there's no harsh or blunt lines. Since cockapoos usually have a lot of hair in their ears, I always make sure to take the clippers without a guard and clean out as much hair as possible from the inside of Chloe's ears. This will just make sure that her ears feel nice and light, but they'll still look really pretty and long from the outside. We're finally getting around to the top of Chloe's head. For this part, you just want to use the curved scissors and make sure to follow the round shape of your dog's head all around from front to back and side to side. You can make this as tall or as short as you'd like. Right where Chloe's ears meet her head, I like to trim it a lot shorter than the rest. I think it just helps her get a more defined haircut, otherwise it kind of just tends to blend all together. While I was cutting the hair around Chloe's face, my camera died and I didn't realize. I'm so sorry about that. But I am going to use the scissors to show you a guideline of where and how I cut around Chloe's face. We finally reached the end. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you learned something today and that you'll subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family so they can learn something too, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!